that Roman soldier, Jesus looked at him and said, they that live by the sword, they shall die by the sword. This is not the way. I am a humble Messiah, came to die a shameful death, and I shall rise again. Amen. And when I rise again, hey. everyone that believeth in me will never perish, but they shall be redeemed forever. Yes. I say you shall be redeemed Amen. forever. I say you shall be redeemed Amen. forever. Yes, Lord. Yes. What the Bible says, uh, Jesus took the ears, the blood-stained ears of this Roman soldier, and then he put it back. Now look at how Judas handled it. Three verses. Matthew 27, 3 to 5. He said, Then Judas, which had betrayed Jesus, when he saw that he was condemned. <laughs> Nobody said he was condemned. The condemnation was in his mind. Because in fact, when he came to betray Jesus, Jesus said to him, The thing that you need to do, do quickly. Oh. <laughs> Whatever the enemy does to you, tell them, do it quickly. Because the Lord, he has a plan, he has a purpose that the enemy has not considered. Amen. Let the enemy take your jacket, oh. give him your shirt as well. Hey. Let the enemy take your shoe. Give him your socks as well. Yes. For the Lord who gave it to you in the first place, yes. I say he shall give it to you again. I say he shall give it to you again. I say he shall give it to you again. Someone say, Amina. Amina. My God. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? And so the Bible says that he had condemned himself by himself. And look at it. He said he repented himself. When you are repenting, you repent before God. You don't repent to yourself. If there is a Savior, you need to repent before the Savior. Call God by name. Say, I repent of this my sin. You alone can help me. Please help me. He condemned himself and he repented to himself. My God. And then he brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. And I'll say a little bit about that. Say, I have saved. Can you imagine coming to your, your enemies, mm. your adversaries, mm. them that set you up in the first place, mm. and telling to them you have sinned? Mm. Are you expecting a word of encouragement? No. <laughs> oh my he went God. to the wrong place. Mm. He said, I have sinned. In that I have betrayed the innocent blood. Mm. And they said, what is that to us? Mm. Hey, yeah. Does it profit us? Mm. We don't care. That's what they said to him. What is it to us? Mm -hmm. See thou to that. Mm. It means deal with it yourself. Oh my and then he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hung himself. Mm. My God. Where do we go from here? Where do you go? The way Judas handled this is the wrong way. Yeah. Mm. Judas, after betraying Jesus, he ran away to those who helped him betray Jesus. Mm. They made his situation worse. <laughs> when you have an issue, don't go back to the place who caused you to do it. Go back to Jesus. I said, go back to Jesus. I said, go back to Jesus. Some scholars have said, if Judas had appeared before Jesus and said, please forgive me and take me back, I say, I bet you he would have done it. Yes, yes, yes. Even a thief on the cross yes. who had stolen all his life. Uh, but when he asked for repentance, he said, please uh, forgive me. Today, remember me in paradise. And he looked at him and said, tonight, uh, tonight. <laughs> you shall be with me in Amen. paradise. I say, you shall be with me Amen. in paradise. I say, you shall be with Amen. me in paradise. So Judas went to the wrong place mm. My seeking God. for forgiveness. Mm. They not only wound him up, but they discouraged him further. They said, it's your business. You are the one who got, uh, you got yourself into this. So you go sort it out. You see, when anybody suggests to you to sort it out, your mind immediately begins to think about what you can do to sort it out. Mm. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> My God. But we know that our know. Redeemer lives. Yes. I say our Redeemer lives. Our redeemer I say our Redeemer lives. He ended up hanging himself. May that never be your push. I say may that never be your push. I say may that never be your push. I say may that never be your push. My God. Mm. Look at Peter. 
Peter was called by God. Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Twelve of them. Trained them for three years. Showed them the way of redemption. Whenever somebody prays for you, they are seeking redemption in your health. When somebody leads you to Christ, they are seeking your redemption in your salvation. When somebody prays for your business, they are seeking your redemption in your finance. When somebody prays for your family back home, for safety, they are seeking your redemption. God wants to buy you back from the cross of the enemy. Amen. 